Hi everyone, welcome to funnel2tunnel.com and welcome to yet another video on cargo calculations and pre-store plan, the principles and procedure on board bulk carriers. As we have discussed in our previous video, there are three steps of loading cargo on bulk carriers. Step number one is how much cargo to load. This is done by means of performing a deadweight calculation. Step number two is where to load the cargo. This is done through devising a stowage plan. Step number three is how to load the cargo. This is done by making a loading sequence. This video is a part of series of nine videos where we will be discussing all these three steps in detail. However, this particular video is example number two for the step number one, which is how much cargo to load by performing a deadweight calculation. As you know, in our last video, we took up one example of a particular voyage and performed deadweight calculation basis that voyage. This video, we shall be dealing with another voyage instructions with another example and performing the deadweight calculation. So like I said, for step number one, we will be doing three examples. Basis those three examples, we will be moving on to step number two, where we shall be devising a storage plan. And on the basis of those storage plan, we shall be moving forward and devising a loading sequence. For the clarity about the topic, you can always go back and check out our previous video on the same title. The link is provided in the description. So without wasting the time, let us move ahead and read the voyage instructions for this example number two. And like I said, for example number one, you can always click the link given in the description, which will take you to the previous video on the same topic. So let us move ahead. Voyage instruction says, Dear Captain, with respect to your next employment, please prepare urgently stowage plan basis follows. The cargo is rock phosphate, quantities given 70,000 plus minus 10%, more or less in owner's option. The loading port is one safe berth Akaba, whereby there are no draft restrictions. And the discharge port is one safe for the east coast of India. Intention is Gangavaram, where the maximum draft specified is 13 meters. Kindly revert on urgent basis. So as you know, the cargo which the charters have asked us to load is 70,000 plus minus 10 percent more or less in owner option. 70,000 plus minus 10 percent MOLOO, which stands for more or less in owner's option, which means that we shall be loading a cargo within the range of 63,000 to 77,000. And for obvious reasons, the load port restrictions and discharge port restrictions have been given to you, but it's always prudent for you to check and recheck. Let's move on to the step number one collecting information. We will be going through the example very quickly because I have explained it in detail. Uh, in my previous video as to how to go about it. So in this video, we will not be sparing a lot of time for explaining those little details because that I've already covered in video number one. I would request all of you to go through that video again. So for loading port Akaba and discharging port Gangavaram, check the following. The location and the applicable load line zone and the voyage route, the water density, any other limitation at the port, which must be obtained through the local agent, charters, or any other information source at hand. Let us move on and check the load line chart. So I've already identified Gangavaram which is on east coast of India and Akaba which is our loading port in Jordan. Also for your ease I have roughly marked the route which the vessel shall be taking in order to reach Gangavaram from the load port. So if you see the vessel will be loading in the tropical zone then at 45 degree east she will be entering another zone this zone will be a seasonal tropic zone. As you know that the vessel is transiting this area in September, that means the applicable load line zone is tropical in this case. So let's move ahead and check the route. And now she is crossing almost 70 degree east and entering tropical zone again. And after that, she will be passing 8 degree north, which is again a seasonal tropical area. But in this case, as the vessel is doing this voyage in October, the applicable zone is summer at 8 degree north. So what I mean to say, the vessel will be loading in tropical zone, entering the tropical zone again here, and at 8 degree north, she will be entering the summer zone. And after that, she will be arriving the port of Gangavaram. So we know that the loading port and the discharging port located in tropical zone as well as summer zone respectively. Let's move forward. So let us pick up the data from the trim and stability booklet of the vessel which we are on. The tropical draft is 14.787 and the tropical displacement is 96940. 
The summer displacement is 94798 and the summer draft is 14.486. So over here I would like to revise that what is the point of obtaining the limiting draft of the ship. This we have already discussed in our previous video but again would like to state the importance of it. Finding the limiting draft will help you to determine that at which point during the voyage should you plan your loading for and it will be at this position the ship can carry the maximum amount of cargo without exceeding the limiting draft and this time we will be understanding this concept by using a detailed table so let us move ahead so for this purpose like i said i have devised a very detailed table for you to understand the concept as to how to calculate the point of limiting draft in the first column we are taking the position from where the ship is moving so it has been named as from and the second column is to that means the point to which the ship is going. Third column is at. This is the point of concern or a point of interest in our voyage. Uh, for example, place from where we departed, the place where we will be staying for loading, also the place where there will be change of load line zones and the place or the port of arrival where we will be discharging the cargo. Any point of interest in the voyage you can always mention in this column. For your ease, I have already mentioned it but this is what the point of column number three is. The fourth column states the distance between the two legs. The fifth column is regarding the days, the number of days which the ship will be taking from transiting from one point to another. Or let's say in case of a loading port, the number of days the ship will be staying for example. The subsequent columns are ROB of the bunkers, which includes VLSF ROB and the LSMG ROB. Also I have uh, written down the applicable load line zone and the maximum draft which is allowed followed by maximum displacement which is allowed and the displacement which is calculated at every point of the voyage followed by the draft which is calculated at every point of the voyage also the density at uh, the point of interest like I said and a column to determine whether the condition is okay or not okay we shall be filling up these columns and checking at each point in the voyage whether the requirements are being complied with or not. So for your ease, I have marked down the maximum draft allowed at each leg. For example, at Akaba, since it is in a tropical zone, the maximum draft allowed is 14.787 and the displacement allowed is 96490. Similar to the 8 degree north bay of Bengal's seasonal tropical zone, the restriction is summer because vessel is arriving in the month of October over there. So it will be summer and the maximum draft allowed is 14.486 and corresponding maximum displacement allowed is 94798 which is the summer displacement of the ship. For obvious reasons the density will be 1.0 to 5. Also at Gangavaram since it is in summer zone the maximum draft allowed as per the voyage instruction is 13 meters and the applicable density is 1.0 to 5. So let us move ahead and start filling up these two columns of calculated displacement and calculated draft. For our ease, let us also see from the trim and stability booklet that at 13 meters, what is the full displacement of the ship? So as per the table, it is 84258.35. So 84258, I have mentioned in the last row, which is applicable to port of Gangavaram, that if the maximum draft allowed is 13.00 meters, the maximum displacement allowed is also 84258. Let us assume that our ship is already at the loading port in Akaba and let's say we load the ship to our tropical load line zone. So for loading the ship to tropical load line zone, the displacement like I said is 96490. If you subtract that light ship, you will get the dead weight and from dead weight, if you subtract the departure ROBs at Akaba, including the freshwater unpumpable ballast, slop sewage constant and sag allowance, let's say you've taken a sag allowance of 200 tons. The cargo which you can load is 81651 tons. I hope this step is clear to you. Let us move ahead and see whether it is safe to carry a cargo of 81651 tons during all legs of voyage. If we load a cargo of let's say 81651 tons as explained to you before, then on departure Akaba, we shall be complying with our load land requirements. So therefore I have marked condition over here to be okay. Now the ship is moving from Akaba and coming to 8 degree north load line zone which is summer load line zone by the way and the maximum displacement allowed over there is 94798 
and the bunker ROBs over there on arrival will be 825.4 and 239.5 because the vessel will be consuming the fuel over the period of time. So let us calculate how much displacement will be there when the same ship with cargo of 81,651 tons moves from Akaba to the summer load line zone. So let us check the displacement when entering summer zone. So like I said, the cargo is 81651 tons and all the different different weights we have added and arrived to a displacement of 96056.5 tons. So this is what the displacement will be on arrival summer. But as you can see, this displacement is more than the allowed summer displacement of the ship. So in this case, the condition or the situation at this point of the voyage becomes not okay because you are exceeding your summer load line mark. That means you have to reduce the cargo at the load port. So let us revise now our deadweight calculation basis this limiting point. So let us calculate how much maximum cargo can be carried at this point without exceeding the draft. In order to do that, we need to calculate the maximum cargo that can be carried upon entering the summer zone. In this case, let us take the displacement as 94798, which is a summer displacement of the ship, subtracting the light ship, the dead weight, and fuel, and the unpumpable ballast, lop and constant. The maximum cargo which we can carry at this point of time is 80393. I hope this is clear. If it is not clear till now, you can always drop a comment in the box below and we shall be happy to help you. So now on the basis of this cargo which we have obtained in the last step, let us load the same quantity of cargo at the load port Akaba and see what will be our departure displacement. So we have assumed that we are loading the same amount of cargo at Akaba plus the light ship plus all the fuel and fresh water and unpumpable ballast and slop sewage plus constant gives you a displacement of 95032. So let us feed in the table. So if we put 95032 at Akaba, we are well below maximum displacement allowed. So therefore the condition becomes okay. And for obvious reasons from Akaba to 8 degree north, the condition will definitely be okay because you are only reducing your displacement. Now let us check the displacement when you will be entering the summer zone. So the cargo loaded was 80393 and plus the light ship and everything you came to a displacement of 94798 which is equal to your summer displacement. Because you have calculated the cargo basis on this leg of the voyage therefore the displacement is coming as equal to the summer displacement and therefore the condition becomes okay. Now let's move forward. So till now both the stages in the voyages is in compliance. So now let us calculate the arrival displacement at Kangavaram. So let us check the displacement when arriving at Gangavaram. So the cargo loaded is same, it's 80393 and uh, you can see that the displacement is 94767. So let us feed this figure in the table. So you can see that 94767 is way way higher than the allowable displacement of 84258. Here we are not complying with the requirement of the leg because the maximum draft allowed at Gangavaram is 13 meters and the calculated displacement is coming as 94767 tons which is way higher than 84258 and therefore this stage is not complying with the draft requirements. So this gives us very clear idea and the idea is that we know that arrival Gangavaram is the limiting point in the voyage for which the cargo must be planned for. So let us calculate how much maximum cargo can be carried at this point without exceeding the draft of 13 meters. So at 13 meters the displacement is 84258 and uh, you can subtract the light ship and perform the dead weight calculation like I have told you in my previous videos and you will arrive at a maximum cargo of 69884 tons which can be loaded at this draft for this displacement keeping this fuel ROBs in mind. All right, so let us load a cargo of 69,884 tons at Akaba and check the displacement at each point in the voyage. So you can see on your screen, I've calculated the displacement for all the important stages and points in the voyage. The first is departure displacement at Akaba. The second is the displacement while entering the summer zone at 8 degree north 
and also the displacement when arriving Gangavaram. So we have got this displacement figures number one, number two and number three and also corresponding draft which we have directly read off from the trim and stability booklet which is 13.04, 13.005 and 13.00 meters. Now let's put all this data into our table. Stage number one at Akaba, the departure requirements at Akaba are being complied with because your calculated displacement is less than the allowed so it is okay while entering summer zone you are much lesser compared to the displacement allowed as you can see the draft is also fine therefore the condition becomes okay and at arrival gangavaram your displacement is 84258 which is equal to the displacement which is allowed and the draft is 13.00 meters and the condition is okay you are carrying the maximum amount of cargo which can be safely carried while at the same time not flouting requirements of your load line zones as well as the draft restrictions at the ports let us just state the deadweight calculation at akaba cargo which can be loaded is 69844 and uh, like i said we have already performed this deadweight calculation and the displacement will be 845 so this is a departure displacement of the ship at load port akaba and this is the dead weight calculation. I hope that the concepts are clear to you. If not, then like I said, you can always drop your queries in the comment section below and we shall be happy to help. Cargo quantity determined through dead weight calculation may subject to change depending upon stability conditions obtained during each leg of voyage while using low decatur. Now this statement, what I'm making now, uh, we shall be seeing in the step number two when we begin to use the low decatur in our videos. The conclusion for this example was a total of 69,884 tons of rock phosphate can be loaded at load port Akaba so that when the vessel arrives Gangavaram, the vessel will be at 13 meters. So this is another example and very much different to the previous example which we discussed in video number one. So like I said, there are only three steps of loading cargoes and bulk carriers out of which uh, we have completed the step number one and we have already discussed and solved two examples in detail thanks for watching i hope uh, we were able to solve your queries and uh, also for your queries write to us at uh, ask at the rate funnel to tunnel.com and we shall be happy to help and do check out our maintenance series which is launching in the upcoming weeks thanks for watching uh, bye take care have a nice day